point. Now this is cultivating the true kind of the application bodhicitta. Uh, cultivating the relative bodhicitta. Mm, cultivating the relative bodhicitta. Oh. Cultivating relative bodhicitta. Cultivating the <laughs> exchange of the self and the others within the meditative equipoise. Um, Then the verse goes like this. All sufferings come from the <coughs> desiring happiness for ourselves. And perfect Buddhahood is born from the thought of the helping others. To truly exchange our own happiness for the suffering of the others, this is the Bodhisattva practice. Uh, Is the cultivate the exchange of the self and others within the meditative equipoise. Mm. And of course, this is what everybody knows, uh, like called the Tonglen. Uh, to development of these thoughts, which is good things offering to the others, and uh, taking the sorrow or the sufferings of other sentient beings to into ourselves. <coughs> mm. That is a, a search a benefit. Of course there are a lot. For example we are offering to all our good things to others. If we do like this, then the maturation is the perfect Buddhahood. And also it's like all the time concerning ourselves, uh, good things. And that is the self oriented That result is the samsaric situations. That reason here in the when we are meditative eco poise to meditate, to exchange whatever existed in the samsaras sorrow and sufferings. Uh, to happily or the uh, openly or tolerantly to accept our own self and also uh, aspirationally Uh, to say a rap on me 
and also is uh, uh, all the good things, uh, happiness, and whatever we done, the virtue things. Uh, to dedicate to the other sentient beings. And that is that we call the truly exchange our own happiness and other sufferings. Of course, that is the perfect path of the Bodhisattva's practice. Uh, and also it's a, uh, to do is quite uh, difficult right now. Uh, during the when we be in the path of the accumulation and the path of the junctions and uh, also in the Shantideva said to really to give or exchange is maybe is for us very tough and also when we often do that maybe uh, uh, sometimes it is dangerous which kind of May we have according to our own individual dualistic minds, may be true that these exchanges, maybe I will get some sickness or bad things from the uh, suffering sentient beings. And uh, when I give some all the positive things to other sentient beings, Maybe also I lost or lost or something. Is a feeling as occurring, then is better, of course, in the physically or the reality not, but also even the in the mentally, uh, very taking care. Meditative equipoise is a great method and uh, to maintain the equipoise, equalize to others and selves, maybe equally, uh, probably that is the more important, instead direct to pray or to meditate exchanges. Because sometimes people say that, or oh, I practice a lot of tonlem after I'm sick, and also I am become poor, I lost all the croissants and coffees. And they got a perfect croissant and that means this is not very good to do it. And maybe when we have a doubt or to like kind of a feeling is the sense of the loss, maybe better to do that. And instead to practicing exchange, maybe a little bit to analyze and uh, the happiness of the ourselves. And I have this and that kind of happiness. I'm like kind of, I want to be happiness. And this kind of happiness, of course, is a need to the other sentient beings. And uh, we are talking about the other sentient beings. Other sentient beings are all the times we have such and connections. And uh, that perspective, other sentient beings are the, our families. And if they become the sufferings, they become the such uh, uncomfortable situations, maybe not very good. And that, that perspective we can to say is, if we are happy, we both to be happy. 
If sufferings, we both become the sufferings. To kind of sharing in the set state to practice the tonlen, uh, rather than uh, doing that, is a practice uh, like kind of uh, equanimities. It is uh, like uh, if I'm happy, may all the sentient beings to have the same my situation, and may they become same as receive same as my happiness. And uh, of course, Bodhicitta's perspective, and also it is the our the path of the great vehicle's perspective. When we have something injured by the different sorrow or the sufferings, maybe of course don't we say, or may I have now sufferings? Maybe all the sentient beings same become my situation it is quite stupid. Uh, but, for example, sometimes when they have jealousies and uh, to say it's like, I'm suffering, I'm sick, I have problems, but those are not. And uh, you see the healthy and rich and such happiness and a kind of rivalry, kind of a sense of uh, uh, competition, sense of the sadness. Maybe in this case, we need to make the virtues our own situations. And to say it's like, uh, I have this kind of, that kind of negative circumstances, and, but others are not. And in this case, it's very good, happy. I'm sick, but for others not. I have problem, but others not. So why not? This is great. And I'm very happy, but of course, this happiness to provide to have all the sentient beings. And that is like if we do, then it's a great cultivating uh, the kind of representative exchanging. And also, it's like great equanimity, like meditative equipoise. And uh, like it is such and such a benefit, which kind of benefit? If we have too much self oriented all the time to say I and I, 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 do not, this is the, we call the ego clinging. And uh, ego clinging is like a kind of uh, big, like a rope or the lassos. And it came to bounding up the, our mind just too strongly. And then mind is, has more the negative emotions is, are received. Maybe I'm existence, maybe I cannot become sick. I'm existence. I'm like a kind of, like kind of single. I cannot to be impermanent. I'm a truly existence, I cannot to going to die. And also it's like I'm like a identity, this is my body, it's my proof, my self proof. And this one is like kind of indestructible. And therefore I cannot become sick, I cannot become something happened. But of course reality is our body, it's a mind, verbs are compounded. It is not a single, it is not permanent, it is not substantially existence. There is nothing existence like a self-entities, or self-identities. And uh, this kind of a natural changing process and to showing the natural things and then we have more problems and more sad, more sufferings.